Hi guys, welcome back. This is video number two and we're discussing this, the tax man, because you know, you guys may not realize this, but Harry is supposed to be paying taxes in the United States and the UK, but he was just struck apparently with a big tax bill, uh, United States, of course. So let's cover it really quickly, shall we? Let's go. So what's happened is Harry and Meghan have been hit with a 100,000 pound tax bill for their mansion in Montecito. Now remember, they paid 11 million pounds or $14.5 million. It's hard with all the, the money changing around. Um, they had this huge 15 bathroom you know, house and they bought it four years ago. So in Santa Barbara County, which is where the house is, the records show that they were charged 146 thousand six hundred dollars or 112,000 pounds for 2023 and it was paid in two different installments so the property tax bill in several years has risen now in 2022 the bill was 144,000 or 110,000 pounds and in 2021 it was only 141,000 or 108,000 pounds. Now I know that doesn't sound I'm mean, you guys are like oh my god that's so much money but you got to remember that to somebody who's worth 60 million dollars that's like that would be like me getting a $500 bill and then next year 600 and then the next year 700. But I don't think he's going to have any trouble paying it because after all, he's getting ready to inherit what? Seven, eight million. I don't want to say dollars. I think it's seven million pounds, which is like about nine million dollars from his great grandmother. The queen mother who you just saw in the carriage in that previous picture died in March of 2002 at the age of 101. She lived a nice long life. When she was 94, she set up this fund and the money was to be divided among her younger relatives with the initial payment when they turned 21 and the second payment when they turned 40. So it, it was a trust fund set up at the time. So that way the queen mother could pass money on to you know the great grandchildren when they were older. You know, it's a way of, I love the way the article put it, it's a way of passing a slice of her estate down in a tax efficient way. So the exact amount that Harry's getting is going to be under wraps. Nobody's going to know for sure how much he's getting. Remember, the money's been sitting in a trust, gaining uh, interest and growing since the, you know, great grandmother died. And so, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a huge amount of money coming to him and Megan. They're going to need it. They've got attorney's fees. If he loses his appeal to the home office for his security, he already owes over a million pounds, which is like, what, $1.3 million? Plus, he's got attorney's fees out the rear end that he has to pay on top of that. So, yeah, it's a good thing he's got this big chunk of money coming in because he's going to need it. Now, as far as Harry's actual taxes go, he does need to report his U.S. sourced income, but not income earned outside of the United States. I know that sounds really crazy, but yeah, he has to pay in both countries, but the way it's set up is just very odd. All right, so I noticed on Twitter, Resting Dollface pointed out that possibly the house was listed as a homestead. If you have a homestead exemption, that is a real estate term and that helps with your tax status. If the owner of the house, however, is an LLC or if the house is in a trust, then it's seen as a separate entity. So it can't have a homestead exemption because those only apply to a property that a person owns. So again, Harry has to pay federal and state taxes and whatever taxes are, you know, needed for the UK. I'm not any good with any of that, but this whole property tax thing is a state tax issue, I believe, not a federal tax issue. And Tradewife22 on Twitter said that California does not have homestead exemptions. So I, I just don't think that they have that, in my opinion. For those of you who don't know, Harry became legally 
obligated to pay taxes in the federal and state because it's called the substantial presence test. So if you live in a country for over 183 days in a consecutive three-year period, then you have to pay the taxes. And obviously Harry's done that. So yeah, he's got a tax bill I can't even imagine for both countries. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, go down into the description box where you'll find the link to video number three. Follow me over. Let's go. Oh,